Chase Lee Hawking here with the Blue Food Talk. This is my final box. <clears throat> Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Food Taunt. And this is my final Oscar prediction before the 23rd. And I usually do a live, you know, stream with the Oscars. Unfortunately, this year with the time zone and me going to work, I might not be able to do it. But after work, I'll probably come home and just do it on the spot. And so I'll be surprised when it happens. But looking at this and with the bath denominations coming out, Critics' Choice changes are occurring. And let's go through the final, because this is on the 18th. So expect a lot of changes from now till the 23rd of what the Gold Derby might be. But as of the 18th, right now, going to Gold Derby, it's Oppenheimer, Killers, Barbie, Poor Things, Holdovers, American Fiction, Maestro, Past Lives, Anatomy of the Fall, Zone of Interest. That That's the 10. I truly think that is the 10 now. Of course, I finally took out Iron Claw, and I now have, I have put Past Lives in my number 10 spot. So I'm sorry, I have to take Iron Claw out, but those are the 10 in that order. For me, the actual order, though, goes Oppenheimer, Holdovers, Poor Things, Killers of the Flower and Moon, Anatomy of the Fall, Barbie, Maestro, Zone of Interest, American Fiction, Past Lives. And that is my official order. I do have some changes coming up, though. So director, according to Gold Derby, it is Nolan, Scorsese, Yorgos, Greta, Jonathan, Glazer. Look, when Baptist just released, Mark Scorsese and Greta didn't make the list. Neither did Yorgos, I think. It was wild. I mean, freaking wild. I already had Greta not making it in. Originally, my five is Nolan, Yorgos, Martin, Justine Trudette, and just Jonathan Glazer. Alexander Payne is making it in now. He is making it in. He was my number six. <coughs> the thing is, though, what do I do? So I took Jonathan Glazer out and put Alexander Payne in. The question is, is Scorsese getting snubbed? I don't think so. I just think Jonathan Glazer is the odd man out because when you look at BAFTAs, at least Nanmu Fall made it to pitcher. So now my top five, Sorry, my, yeah, top five for directors is no joke. Christopher Nolan, then Alexander Payne, Yorgos, Mark Scorsese, Sazy, Justine Trudette. I just think that is the five now. If I had to choose number six and seven, sure, I will go with Jonathan Glazer and then Greta Gerwig. But after six and seven, I just don't see anyone else in my personal opinion. All right, save and let's go to the next one. And the next one is Actress. So Lily Gladstone was snubbed for the BAFTA. Uh, for the Corner Gold Derby is Lily, Emma Stone, Carrie, Sandra Huller, Margot Robbie. I have those five as well, but I have Emma Stone winning. And then I have Lily Gladstone, and then Carrie, and then Sandra Huller, and then Margot Robbie. I am just doing a number six. And to me, my number six is... Annette Betting for Nyad. That I'm only going to do one for most of these categories now because we are literally at that spot. So number six, Annette Betting, Nyad. Which that makes me wonder, can Margot Robbie get snubbed for that? We will find out though. Alright, and what I had before, I had Annette Betting at number five. I do have to move Margot Robbie into the top five now. All right, Cornet Gold Derby for Best Actor. Killian Murphy, Paul Giamatti, Bradley Cooper, Jeffrey Wright, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, I had the same for mine. However, I do have to make changes. Leonardo DiCaprio's out. Coleman Domingo is in. I, even though, sure, but to me, it's Killian Murphy, Paul Giamatti, Bradley Cooper, Jeffrey Wright, Coleman Domingo. When Coleman Domingo made it, over Jeffrey Wright in the BAFTAs. That's what kind of sealed the deal for me. But after choosing number six, of course, number six is Leonardo DiCaprio. Continuing on to Best Supporting Actress, Corner Gold Derby, Divine Joan Randolph, 
Danielle Brooke, Emily Blunt, Jodie Foster, Julianne Moore. For this one, I think I'm going to do something fucking crazy. Divine Joey Randolph, number one. Jodie Foster, two. Daniel Brooks, three. Emily Blunt, four. Roseman Park. Roseman Pike Saltburn is my number five now. Listen, I had Penelope Cruz, and Penelope Cruz is my number six. So I'm keeping that my number six. But I don't know the British people are going to, and I think a lot of people want Pike in. And I had her at, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't even have her on the list. So at this point, I'm going to have to put her on the list and have Penelope Cruz at number six now. I, it's, ugh, I don't know. This is one that I, people are saying Barbie for American Friera. No. Could Sandra Hula for Zone of Interest get in? She could. She freaking could. This one category is bonkers, as well as supporting actor now. <laughs> supporting actor is even crazier. Like I said, there's a lot of changes for me this time. All right, looking at supporting actor. Robert Downey Jr., Robert Gosley, or Ryan Gosley, sorry. Robert De Niro, Mark Ruffalo, Charles Melton. I do not have this order. I do have Robert Downey Jr., Mark Ruffalo, Ryan Gosley, Robert De Niro, Sterling K. Brown. Here's the freaking thing. So American Fiction wasn't really supposed to be good at the BAFTAs. Sure, it did get screenplay. So that's really, really freaking good for that. For me, before that, I had William Defoe in. I don't think both poor things boys are gaining anymore. Could Mark Ruffalo get snubbed? Maybe. Here's the thing. What is my number six, though? My number six, Charles Melton's done. May, December, I think May, December is shut out. I think May, December is done. Don't, don't, don't talk about it anymore. My number six has got to be Dominic Sessa. It's got to be Dominic Sessa. That is my number six now. Uh, I think he has a better chance. I truly do, especially him getting over Ruffalo and William Defoe at the Baptist. Bonkers. That is my thing. Can I switch Dominic? Like I said, though, my number six, I could change it from here to the 23rd, just FYI. That's my only one I would change it to. I will not lie to you guys on that one. All right, let's continue on, I think, to adapt the screenplay. According to Gold Derby, it's Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Killers, American Fiction, Barbie. I think that is safe. I truly think it is these five. However, can one get taken out? It would be Killers of the Flower Moon, in my opinion. And what would replace it is Zone of Interest. Uh, with Killers not getting at the Baptist, too, that's a lot of voting bodies. And I think there's a lot of people that love Zone of Interest. But... I still think Killers of Flower Moon has a better chance at the, you know, American Oscars than the BAFTAs. So, I'm keeping with the top five, but just in different order. Oppenheimer, Poor Things, American Fiction, Barbie, Killers. Barbie can't win this category. No way. No fucking way. Even though Oppenheimer might not win, I actually, actually we're changing this. We are changing it to American Fiction number one. <clears throat> I think number American Fiction number one. With this much love at the BAFTAs, I have a solid... I think American Fiction could win this one, and I'm changing that. So American Fiction, Poor Thing, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Killers of the Flower Moon, Barbie. Next, original screenplay, Holdovers, Past Lives, Anatomy of the Fall, May, December, Maestro. Um, <clears throat> changes are occurring. Changes are occurring. I think it's Holdovers, and Anatomy of the Fall number two. One and two. I think those two are the, the ones. Past Lives 3, May, December's out. I don't think May, December's getting in. Maestro's another one, which I don't know. Can there? I think Saltburn has a chance. I think I'm going to put Saltburn in for sure. The question is Maestro or Air? That's the question. Will it be Maestro or Air that gets in it? Um... A part of me, though, is also saying it should be May, December over Maestro. So maybe I am changing that. No, let's do that. We are getting rid of Maestro, putting May, December in, Saltburn at number five. And my number six is actually going to be Air. I just don't think of Maestro as a screenplay movie. So my order is Holdovers, Anatomy of the Fall, Past Lives, May, December, Saltburn. 
a little bit bonkers. But you got to have fun, right? And number six will be air. All right, best cinematography, Oppenheimer, Killers, Poor Things, Maestro, Zone of Interest. That's what Gold Derby has. I'm keeping it. Number six is Saltburn, and I will put number six as my Saltburn. To me, that just makes freaking sense. Uh, other than that, I, th I just don't see any other one getting into cinematography just because all of it looks great. So we're going to keep that one pretty safe, in my opinion. Even well, people thought Top Gun was number one, and that didn't even get in last year. So, who the freak knows? Costume design according to Gold Derby, Barbie, Four Things, Killers, Color Purple, Wonka. No, I am still going with. I think I had it at this. A little bit changes though. Four Things, Barbie, Killers, Napoleon. Oppenheimer. I just don't see Killer, or I don't, I don't see Wonka or Color Purple getting in. So, like I said, my number six, though, is actually going to be Wonka. Six is Wonka for me. To me, it was either that or Priscilla, but if I'm just going by everything, Wonka will be my number six for costume design. Uh, who knows, though? Who the freak knows? Next one. Film editing. Court of Gold Derby, Oppenheimer, Killy, Killers, Four Things, Barbie, Holdovers. Nope. Barbie out. I just don't see that happening. According to I have it, and I haven't really changed. I did change the order a little bit. I'm going Oppenheimer, Four Things, Holdovers, Killers, Anatomy of the Fall. I just don't think Barbie's going to get in here. Anatomy of the Fall, the editing there is way better, in my opinion. Maestro is on the heels of Anatomy of the Fall. But I, I feel like Anatomy of the Fall is going to do pretty freaking good at the Oscars this year. So that is my five. I'll continue on to best hair and makeup. This might actually be more ridiculous than people think. According to Gold Derby, it's Pat, uh, Maestro, Poor Things, Oppenheimer, Gulda, Society of the Snow. I got Gulda at 28 to 1. It is now 8 to 1. I got Society of the Snow at 30 to 1. It is now 19 and 2. Yes! So for me, best hair and makeup. I don't know if Maestro's winning anymore. I just don't know. Can Society of the Snow come out of nowhere and do it? Or can Gulda? Gulda is baked. And when you look at the actual hair and makeup for Maestro, yeah, I mean, Bradley Cooper does look old in some scenes. So maybe I will keep that. But I am now changing my order to Maestro, Society of the Snow, Gulda, Oppenheimer, Poor Things. Yes, you could say William Defoe's makeup for Poor Things, sure. But that is my order. I just don't see anything else with that one. Like I said, a change in the order is overdue. All right, production design. Barbie, Poor Things, Oppenheimer, Killers, Color Purple. I'm changing this one. I am changing, changing, changing. Of course, Poor Things and Barbie are here. I do think Barbie has a better chance in production design than Poor Things, so we'll go with that. Barbie, Poor Things, Oppenheimer. Killer, sure. Number five, though. Will it be Asteroid City? Will it be Napoleon? Will it be Zone of Interest? I'm going with Napoleon still. I think that production design is pretty freaking sweet overall. If I'm choosing a number six... Wait, I don't even think I've chose number six for other, other categories when I'm thinking about it. Uh... Did I choose number sixes? Am I an idiot? I might be an idiot overall of what I, my costume design. I did it for that. Film editing. I think I did film editing, right? Uh, no, I didn't. For film editing, I didn't. We'll just, I'll still add something there for you guys so you know what my number six is. But yeah, production design. My number six. I either want to go with Asteroid City, Salt Burner Zone of Interest. Let's go with Asteroid City. Let's go with Asteroid City for number six, even though Saltburn might be nipping on. Ah, there's a lot of Saltburn love out there. You know what? I'm going with Saltburn. Saltburn is my number six. I think that has a chance. I truly, truly do. All right, next on the list is best score. According to Gold Derby, Oppenheimer, Killers, Poor Things, Spider-Man, and Zone of Interest. I'm doing a little bit of bias here. I don't like... um. Ah, uh, maybe I had to put in Spider-Man here, even though, ugh, ugh, I just don't like it. 
but but no, I gotta keep with my guts. I'm gonna keep my gut and go with Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Killers of the Flower Moon, Zone of Interest, Society of the Snow. I love Society of the Snow. And of course, I have some little biases here. I will put number six for Spider Man, even though I just don't like Spider Man. It's just so mid. But yeah, so that's my six for best score. But here's the thing: a lot of these, I think a lot of them like score editing. You already know Oppenheimer is going to win a lot of these. All right. So next one I think is visual effects. If I'm not mistaken. No, best song. Corner Gold Derby. What was I made for? I'm just Ken. Road to Freeman. Freedom. Flame and Hot. And Keep It Moving by Color Purple. Nah, fam. I'm going with number one is I'm just Ken. Number two is Barbie, What Am I Made For? Three is It Never Went Away from American Symphony. Four, Rustin. Five, Flaming Hot. I don't think Color Purple is getting in here, here. So, I had those in my top five. But if I'm choosing number six, sure, Color Purple is my number six. Why the hell not? I mean, it's not like I really even know anyway. All right, keep going. Sound, Corner Gold Derby, Oppenheimer, Maestro, Killers, Zone of Interest, Ferrari. Ferrari does feel safe, but Napoleon just sounds so much better, and I'm putting Napoleon. I think Ferrari's going to get shut out. So, I think it's Oppenheimer, Maestro, Killers, Zone of Interest, Napoleon. My number five, six, though, will be Ferrari. I do think that has a solid chance to gain it. But I'm getting to point at pretty good odds overall. And, I, and I'm pretty happy with what I'm actually choosing. But like I said, it's all crapshoot. It's all a freaking crapshoot at this point, boys. And girls. Even though it's not a lot of girls that watch this channel. Anyway, according to, for visual effects, number one, Guardians. Number two, Creator. Number three, Poor Things. Number four, Spider-Man. Number five, Godzilla minus one. I'm changing this. I still don't have poor things, and I do not have Spider-Man in this. I have Godzilla at minus one at number one, Guardians at number two, Creator number three, Napoleon number four, Society of the Snow number five. Uh, I got that Society of the Snow at 33 to one. Watch it. That CGI in that one's freaking incredible. So I think those three or five are pretty safe. Poor things. I just don't see poor things. I don't see poor things. I see Napoleon and Society of the Snow gaining because Napoleon does look damn freaking good. Uh, but of course, like I said, my number six, though, my number six, I'm going Mission Impossible. I'm sorry. I can't put Spider Man. I can't put four things here or Indiana Jones. My number six is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Animated feature uh, Spider Man Born the Hero on Elemental Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nimata. Sure, I have no changes there. But if I'm choosing number six, actually, it's probably Chicken Run because of the BAFTAs. So, but I think this one is actually the more safer category, even though I refuse to watch the Mata because of what the subject material is. Nah, 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 fam. Nope. Nay, sayer, say I. All right. Best document, Harry. American Symphony, tw 20 Days in Mirapol. Four Daughters, Yawn Utopia, still a Michael J. Fox story. I don't, they don't nominate these actor documentaries. So I am going with Four Daughters, American Symphony, 20 Days at Mirapool, Beyond Utopia, and Going to Mars. Uh, I mean, still could make it in, but I just feel like Going to Mars has, like I said, this is the one category, this and then the, you know, the live shorts, the short shorts, they're all crap shoots. There, you will never guess what's going to get snubbed or not in these categories. But if I'm choosing number six, sure, I'll go with still a Michael J. Fox story. I'll put it in there. All right, next we have International, Gordon Gold Derby, Zone of Interest, Society of the Snow, Fallen Leaves, Taste of Things, Perfect Days. I, I agree with this. I uh, Teacher's Lounge is pretty close to there. Everyone says that Io Capitano from Italy is really good. Uh, Godlands is the last one. Or Promised Lands as well. There's a couple hundred of ones. But, I mean, they could sneak in there. They could sneak in there. Maybe the taste of things will not get in there. Maybe that's the one that gets kind of snubbed. So, you know what? Let's take the taste of things out. Let's just have some fun with this category. I want to put the teacher's lounge in there. Why not? But then my number six will be the taste of things. Like I said, you gotta have some fun here and there or around the square, right? Right? All right. Next one. 
we have Best Animated Short. Uh, I haven't picked this one, but according to Gold Derby, goes Once Upon a Studio, Letters to a Pig, Heat, The War is Over, Eva. Uh, with this one, I will choose the first two, of course. Once Upon a Studio, Letters to a Pig. There's always going to be a random one in here. So let's go with random. Let's go War is Over. Let's go with just looking at this. That looks kind of too weird. Let's go with Humo. And then let's go with a kind of testament. Why not? I'm just going complete crapshoot. Like I said, these you will never guess these, honestly. All right, best documentary short. It goes, the ABC's a book banning. The Last Repair Shop. The Last Song of Kabul. The Barber of Little Rock. And Decided Vote. Um, let's go with Book Banning, Watch the Pair Shop, Kabul, and Little Rock. Let's at least go with those four. And now I'm going to choose Camp Courage as number five. Uh, why not? Like I said, there are a couple of them, like Healthcare Crisis, I, Black Girls Play. I mean, I don't know. Let's just keep those and continue on. And this might be the last one, Live Action is Short. I think this is actually the easiest one to choose. This is where Wes Anderson's can is Oscar. Henry Sugar's getting in. And Frank Gift Shop, why not? Let's go with the after. And then let's add um, The Shepherd and Red, White, and Blue. Why not? Those are my five. I'm not choosing six for those because I have no idea. And that is it. Those are my final Oscar predictions. I had to go a little bit bold on some of these now. I do think this is going to be a very awkward year of people guessing. It, it's that interesting. Chase Lugak here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things Blue Futon Topia. You Blue Futon, just thank you for watching. Have a great day. Now, can watch this take tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now. I love every single freaking one of you. And let's see what occurs. Like I said, the 23rd is probably going to be a little later throughout the day for this guy.